love driving it. It's a beautiful car. But the Lincoln, that's my girl, that's my baby. I've decided to go with her. You're never going to pry the keys out of my fingers unless they're cold and dead. Which is probably what the previous owner did. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they died. Stop it. And now you have it's the car. so bad. <laughs> or another comparison. That sounds pretty solid. Yeah. Not bad, but when you compare it to the 84 Mercedes, Listen to that thunk. There's a little tingy. I heard some tinging. No, that is bank fault. Welcome to April's Garage, the most superior, smartest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I thought it was about time to update you on the ownership of the glorious 1991 Lincoln Town Car, the greatest American luxury car back in the 90s. This far, far superior. Oh, hey there, oh there, whoa there, whoa what? there. What? What's the problem? You're still saying this car is excellent. It's superb, supreme American luxury at its finest. Well, we have had a few issues with the car, haven't we, April? <laughs> Just a little minor, minor issue. Like what? Okay, so perhaps one or two of the windows. Yes. Open or close. After the air conditioning was fixed and the dash was taken out for that clicking noise. Right. Two windows, the motors have but failed. But now that the air conditioning works, you don't need to open the windows. So problem solved, right? It's okay. like a double negative. What else is broken? <laughs> the, uh, the final gear, the overdrive. Um, the, the what? The final top gear. It's, um, Are yeah. you trying to say the transmission is yeah. out? I, I, you said it, I didn't say it. I brought this over just to demonstrate to you that maybe 90s American sedans, as great as they are, as cushy as they are, weren't the best built vehicles, and that's why something like Mercedes and BMW was able to come along and completely steal the market share away of luxury cars from the American car builders, and it was well deserved. This is an 84 500 SEL. My friend EuroAsian Bob is selling it. You can check it on his website, and it's a better car. It's Definitely a beautiful car. I love the look of the body. But look at this rose metallic. And do you have deer whistles on yours? No, well, you don't. Well, I can don't. stick those on to this. But no, no, today no. in this video, we're going to do a comparison. And I'm going to try and prove to April that this is a much, much better car. Kind of cure her, as much as I love boats, but cure her of this weird boat fascination. <sighs> and open her up to, well, the European market. Do you hate America? That sounds weird, opening you up to the European market. <laughs> All right, April, so what are the biggest highlights of the 91 Town Car now that you've been driving it for a month and two windows have failed and the transmission's failed and Easy. the air conditioning has Easy. broken and been fixed? Easy. I mean, of course, it's beautiful. Metallic rosé color. I think the keys are on it, but check out this beautiful, comfortable interior, this velour. It's like being wrapped in a cocoon, or it's almost like, like <laughs> you're inside the womb. <laughs> being cozy well, and comfortable and then you can be I guess the womb burned. is sort of bloody colored right <laughs> I don't know it's kind of that never mind if you've been around for a childbirth then you know but uh yeah um it's the seats are extremely comfortable but not very supportive so Jake our camera guy complained about lack of back support lumbar support there's in lumbar, these cushy right? seats down, he probably didn't see that there's some switches down here for lumbar but still the problem with it being too cushy is sometimes it does get uncomfortable in a long period of time it's not an issue for me but an issue with a lot of people which is why you see firmer more supportive seats today I prefer this the cushy seats but the Germans do it somewhere in between now one other thing the Germans do is they use real wood, April, not, uh, <laughs> not, not that. That's the finest plastic trees. Also, I think in 91, they added this, which is um, plastic instead of stainless. Right, stainless. oh, so you're criticizing your own car. So there's more, so I told you about the, the deer whistles. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? People's dogs are probably losing their minds right now <laughs> if they're watching this video. But yeah, you're pointing out this is a cheap car that's based on a yeah. Ford Crown Victoria or whatever, the police car, you know, the, the taxi cabs, and then they just sort of up badged it, made it fancy looking for the town car. The Mercedes 126, it's a, it's his own chassis. Solid. <laughs> or another comparison. That sounds pretty solid. Yeah. Not bad, but when you compare it to the 84 Mercedes, hmm. 
Listen to that thunk. There was a little tingy. I heard some tinging. No, that is bank fault. So the Germans really started showing up in the 1970s. At the same time, American cars, their quality took a huge dip because they couldn't figure out how to meet emissions regulations. Right. Basically, horsepower is all choked down and the quality of the cars took a massive dip. So it opened the door wide open for the Europeans who were already figuring out how to make cars more efficient because fuel is more expensive in Europe and they were ahead on the times when it came to environmental emissions regulations. So the cars were years, decades ahead of what the Americans were offering. And yes, are you noticing it's it's ribbed for the owner's pleasure there? <laughs> I think it's very nice. Nice little rocker touch, little details on there. So your base price on this was like 20 grand more than the town car. So I suppose you're right. You're a little ahead of the game there. But it's the 80s. Everybody had money. So 50 grand for this versus 30 for that wasn't right. a big difference. Ooh, wait. There was some serious spring when I sat down. Yes. That's really comfortable. Instead of foam, well, there's some foam. There's springs and actually horsehair. I think they were still using horsehair in this year. Yes. Yeah, the problem with that is it does break down with time and start to smell a little bit in the padding there. But Look, and there's little footrests, too. Uh-huh. This is really fancy, of course. Yes. Ashtray, your own lighter. Some perforated doors here. Okay, this is pretty. So it looks like this one has the reclining seat options, so this would pull out and give you sort of a gangster lean in the back seat. Also, heated seats and power windows. That car doesn't even have heated seats in the front, so this one has it in the front and the rear in 1984. Rear air conditioning vents, that one doesn't have rear air conditioning vents, so the back passengers are comfortable as well. That is pretty fancy. The heat kicks butt in that one, that when you turn it on, it just blasts. Right. So but this is really nice. I really like the springiness of it. Is it are you serious? There's horse hair in it? There's horse hair in it. They call this a Palomino interior. And when it fades, it fades a little bit pink, which this one is in really good shape, but it has a little bit of that. They call it pink amino because of the fading. But I wanna see if I can feel the horse hair, but I can't. No, it's hard to reach in there. But you are close to real wood veneer. Wait, that's real. That's plastic. Nope, it's real. Like totally your real. Is cracked on it. It's the finish. It's the veneer on right. it that you can redo, and it is a common problem for them to sort of fall apart. But this one, once again, in really, really good shape for its age. The dash, you know, just a little bit of a crack in the corner there, which is really common, but uh, just spectacular condition for the age. I love how well everything's been kept up too for 1985. Mm -hmm. It's very clean. It smells clean. I can't smell the horse hair, but I also have a bad sense of smell. Go ahead and get in the driver's seat. Oh, I'm driving? Yes, you're driving. I've experienced and owned many, many of these. I'm trying to convert you. These are the Lincoln. Ooh, it's so bouncy. Yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable, but it's more support, I would say. It's a nice in-between. And you can see... 94,000 miles. Look at those clean, simple gauges there, too. You actually have gauges to see what you're doing. On the Lincoln with that mm -hmm. digital odometer, they could do pretty much anything, but they choose not to show you. Yeah. Oh, you push mm -hmm. the button on the side for that to go up. Mm. Okay. And see? See? Heated seats. This That's is your nice. fader for the stereo, the Becker Grand Prix. I guess yours has CD. Right. I mean, I'd say it's nice. It's not as big as the town car. You no. can't fit as many friends, but I don't have them as many friends. So. Uh, oh, you have to push the, I showed, showed you, Sorry, you have to push I, the button. You know, I only half listen when you talk. Okay, I'm ready. Seatbelt, are we, I'm taking it out? Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. You're, you're... Start it up. Playing 80s music. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Give it a little rev. Yeah. It sounds really good. Five liter V8. In my 500 SL, that was my first car. It's sort of the same engine, except mine's a Euro. And that Mercedes, it was the fastest production Mercedes in the world at the time. Oh, yeah. Could go 160 plus miles an hour. Lincoln, at no. At the moment, the Lincoln goes 50. It won't go over 50. <laughs> so we can't really drive both and compare them. We can't drag race them because yours is broken. So <laughs> at least Bob was nice enough to loan us this so you can cruise around in it. I love the 14 inch bunt wheels too. They call them bunts because they look like bunt cake molds. 
And if you want to buy a German luxury barge for yourself, the best place to look is on Auto Tempest, as they combine all the major listing sites into one search. So you don't have to go to each individual website and input the same information to find an 80s or 90s 126 chassis Mercedes. Say you want a 560 SEL, the end of the line, the top of the line for this car. Well, there are plenty to choose from on Auto Tempest, including a crazy limousine. And there's one with the, the Sentra wheels that I really like as well but a great selection because Auto Tempest shows you all the listing sites from everywhere. And say you like black the best, say you like a certain year range, say you like certain options, you can list that all off on Auto Tempest as well. So search Auto Tempest for your next car. I'm on there every single day looking for cars. And if you have a friend shopping for a car, let them know Auto Tempest exists because it will save them loads and loads of time finding the right car. Okay, whoa. Okay, the seat moves a lot faster than the Lincoln. Yes. And Everything moves a lot faster in this car. I do have to say the positioning of it is a little more comfortable than the Lincoln. Right. You know, the velour seating is so just squishy and lovely. I just, I love the springs in this car. The thing is, you do get a luxurious, comfy experience, but it's also an engaging car to drive. It's not like piloting a yacht and, you know, you make a turn and five seconds later <laughs> something happens. Right. Is, it, is that plane in my way? Should I stop? Oh, just go. It's fine. Are you sure? Plane versus Mercedes. Oh, no. I have to stop. I now he's okay. stopping. Okay. You're creating a right. so, creating a situation sorry, here. Sorry. Sorry, plane. But you have the grunt <laughs> to get out of the way quickly there. Did you notice that? Yeah, she picks up quick. Yes. It's smooth. The wheel is a bit heavier than the Lincoln, though. The Lincoln just, you could turn it with your pinky almost. That is a nice thing about it. But once again, they're trying to make this car more engaging to drive. More, you know, not really sporty, but just more of a nice driving experience rather than just, you know, insulating you from everything to where it just all feels numb. Like you just come back from the dentist and had a couple of fillings. That's that's what the Lincoln Town Car feels like when you drive it as far as the road feel. The dentist is so much worse than the Town Car. Are you crazy? Well, it's just the aftermath. Like after the dentist and you've had the shot of the, you know, if you had the laughing gas and everything all numbed up, that's, that's the Lincoln Town Car. So go ahead and pull out on the road and I will control the shifts here. You can floor it and never lift. Go, go, go. And that feeling, that pulling, even though it is slower than modern cars, right. but it's just so smooth and it just feels so well built, like, you know, like a Rolex watch or something like that. The automatic movement of it, 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 it just feels really, really high quality. It's smooth and it's not loud and clanky. Um, I'm, just, I, I'm not won over yet. What's holding you back? I'm just so tied to the American luxury and I, I just need to see, I just need, I need a little more time. Little more okay. Time. Well, I will give some drawbacks. Okay. For whatever reason, Mercedes of this era, it's like the SNL episode with the Leathermen where they're all walking around and there's, you know, leather creaking. Right. There's a lot of that in these old cars. It's just kind of a, a creaky, yeah. leathery thing that you kind of tune out. And of course, the maintenance is a little bit more. Not compared to, say, 10 years newer or 20 years newer, and the maintenance of, of used Mercedes is insane, but still, it's gonna be more than a Lincoln Town Car. Right. That Lincoln Town Car will be able to find a transmission in a junkyard for a few hundred bucks and swap it in. Oh good, because we need it. the window motors are, you know, not too hard to do. This is a little more involved finding parts and things, although Eurasian Bob does have several of these in the salvage yard to keep them going. That way? Yeah. Wizard could fix this up, no? Mm, yeah, yeah, Wizard would love to keep a car like this running for you. A good independent. It's very smooth. I feel like I'm cooler in this car. Right? Is that a weird thing? This would have been what the Beverly Hills, you know, right. 80 supermodel would have driven around in more than, say, a Lincoln Town car. Even by the time that car was out in 91, the only people buying it were old people. Right. I feel like this is like the A-list luxury and Lincoln perhaps is like B-list celebrity. May, I mean, or like this is what you buy your Beverly Hills wife and then the, the Lincoln is what you buy your new Joey Z wife, you know? <laughs> right? 
It's so true. <laughs> With all the velour and everything. Exactly. Oh my gosh, and that correct color too. Mm hmm Rose metallic. Okay. Yeah. I, I like this car. It has its own style for sure that you're not going to find in any other car but these body styles Mercedes. So are you ready to make the switch? What are the... Really? Yeah. We're just switching it out? Or should, yeah. Should we just leave the Lincoln with Bob and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> that would be so good. I love driving it. It's a beautiful car. But the Lincoln, that's my girl. That's my baby. I decided to go with her. You're never going to pry the keys out of my fingers unless they're cold and dead. Which is probably what the previous owner did. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they died. Stop it. And now you have it's the car. so bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I guess I can't win. Maybe I'll buy this one for myself. <laughs>